hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Nyamaka. so on today's video i'll be showing you how i make my delicious igusi soup so guys if you're new to my channel and you're just seeing my face for the first time this is your girl Nyamaka. please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also the notification button for more updates on my videos so guys if you want to know how i make this yummy delicacy keep watching guys thank you <music> So guys, I'm going to be using my bell pepper, my scott bonnet, onion, my egusi, my oil and also my goat meat and some locust beans, salt and my fish and also my nut cube. So now I already washed my meat, I'm going to be adding onions and also my scotch bonnet pepper and I'm going to be dropping in my no cube. I'm just going to stir it a little bit and now I'm going to add my salt to, to taste. You know, I'm not even going to be adding any water into the meat because I just want the juice from the meat to come out first before I add any more water. So I'm just going to stir everything together and cover and allow to cook. So while that is cooking, I'm just going to be washing out my bell pepper. You know sometimes you will see some kind of dirty things inside the bell pepper so I have to really take my time to wash them out so I'm gonna wash everything and also my scotch bonnet and blend them I just have to cut them into piece and now I'm blending them as you can see so I'm just gonna go back and check up on my meat you see guys this the juice from the meat is already out so I figured out that the meat is not readily done so I had to add another water into it so for you you can also add any quantity of water that you want to add like if you feel like it's not enough like it's not really cooked can add as much as you, you want to so I'm just gonna allow that to cook so here my meat is ready like it's really ready I'm taking everything out guys and also my stock my stock water so I'm about to start cooking now so I'm adding my oil you don't really need to bleach it out like you just when once it's hot you can just use it like that so I didn't measure ha like have any measurement here I just put the amount I feel was okay for me now I'm gonna be adding my onions I'm just gonna stir it till I feel it's golden brown like okay for me but please don't let it burn <laughs> so I'm gonna be adding my cut meat like I already chopped this meat from the piece I got after I finished cooking I just took out one and chopped them up since I don't have my pomo so I'm gonna be adding my pepper so here guys I was trying to like show you guys how the end product of the pepper like after blending 
so I'm gonna be pouring it in so I'm gonna give that a stir And also, I'm going to be adding my iru. In English, it's called locust beans. But it's optional, guys. If you don't want to add it, that's fine. So I'm also going to be adding my fish. I don't really like the stock fish. So I usually go for the frozen one. So it uh, depends on your choice, any one you want. So I'm just going to give that a little bit, like I'm going to stir it a little bit. And now I'm going to be adding my crayfish. You know, I just have to stir everything together. So now I'm going to cover and allow to cook for about 30 minutes. So here guys, I'm pouring out my egusi. You know, it's already blended. Some people like to blend it, but I already have this one blended already. So I'm just going to be putting in my meat stock. Then I will mix them together. Just gonna give it like a nice stir so that the mistock can go into the like enter into the egusi. So I'll allow that to sit while I check on my pepper. So now I figured out it already, it's okay. So I'm gonna be adding my nor cube and stir everything together. And also guys, I like using this seasoning, this seasoning, Onga. Onga Classic to be precise. So I'm just gonna be adding that too and also stir everything together. Then I will cover and allow to cook for about 10 minutes again. So now I came back to check my pepper and you see everything is looking ready. So I'm going to be adding my egusi now into the pepper. Guys, this egusi, it's really, really yummy, guys. Like, this is not the type of egusi that you just go and sit down, you know. You have to stay there, like, and monitor it, like, you know. So now I'm going to also be adding my meat stock. And stir it a little bit. And I'll cover and allow to cook. So I allowed that to cook for like about 10 minutes and I came back to check it. And this is the way it's looking now. So I'm just going to give it a little bit there. So I'm just going to be adding more water, just a little bit. I use the water from the plate, you know, I use the, the plate I used to mix the egusi. So I just added water to it and, you know, was just adding the water bit by bit. So guys, I'm also going to be adding salt for taste. So this part, you can add as much as you want, like to your own taste. 
so i just figured out that was okay for me and that was why i stopped so now i'm gonna be adding my chopped vegetable Then I'll allow that to sit in. While I'm also going to be adding my meat now, so that all the juice from the vegetable will like go into the meat too. Guys, me, I love traffic in my portal. Like, I just love when there is traffic, you know. Just look at how yummy and colorful the egusi is looking now. So I'm just going to allow that to sit in, you know. Then I'll cover and allow to boil for about another 5 to 10 minutes. So this is the end product of it. You see how it's looking yummy, guys. Trust me, this egusi, the aroma, it's really like, you know, it's everything. In fact, it actually finished that day, like, you know. You can have the, this egusi with either rice, pounded yam, anything of your choice, guys. You can even lick the soup, like, have the soup like this without anything. I'm going to be leaving the the recipe in the description box below please guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you for watching till i see you again in my next video bye